Are you leaving or are you on your way back home? Either way, we want to be there. Doesn't matter how much baggage you claim. Give us a time and date. Terminal and gate. We want to send you off in style. We want to welcome you back home. Tell us all about it. Were you scared or was it fine? With Karen and Chris. Welcome to Do You Need a Ride? This is Chris Fairbanks. This is Karen Kilgariff. And we are on Vine uh, very Street. Very famous, very famous it's street. It's just a street. It, you know, it's not what everybody says it is. It's just a street, a like lot anybody of people, else. Yeah, a lot of people people from out of town will come and say Vine Boulevard. Oh, God, and, I love Vine, they'll say. Yeah, or just Vine. Go back to Wisconsin. Yeah, you don't know what you're talking Mm-mm. about. It's a street. Yeah. We are headed on it due south uh, to pick up Andy Kindler. And we are headed in the direction of the airport, which is south, if you're driving in Los Angeles. But Andy is not at the airport. He already landed at the airport. Then he had to get quickly to a job. And Andy is a highly neurotic Jew. If you have never heard of Andy Kindler, please know that about him first and foremost. Mm -hmm. So he wanted us to pick him up at the job and not from the airport right because he didn't want us to make him late so then we would feel bad and uh, call me neurotic too paint me neurotic too because i too did not want to make him late for his thing and paint me like one of your neurotic jews actually could you paint me like a cat (laughs) that would be great could you paint me Um, sorry, I didn't have one. I just want to be a part of the conversation. Can you paint me with a butterfly under my eye? <laughs> and just like I've been licking a lollipop all day. Could you paint me and then two wolves on either side of me and we're all near a moon? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Paint me like the gold lady from James Bond. <laughs> oh, no, she died. Oh, yes, yeah, she died of paint. Yeah, I do so. believe that might be an urban legend. Um, in the movie, isn't that how they, isn't that how they kill somebody? They cover them in paint? I don't know. I don't think so. Hmm. Are you thinking of a, a tank of sharks? <laughs> Viewers, you tell us who's wrong. Yes. I believe it was just <laughs> during an opening sequence. There's a scantily clad lady. Maybe she's not clad at all. She's just been dipped in latex. Yeah. And then there's a rumor that that lady then, her skin... <laughs> closed up. <laughs> closed up on her. And she ceased to exist. Go finger. Go finger. Go finger. <laughs> that's not how that song goes at all. None of those tries. <laughs> We're even close to it. I could keep trying all day and yeah. not accidentally nail the way that song goes. There's no funner song to try and fail at than go finger. And if you're listening right now and you're like, funner's not a word, it is now. Yeah. It's in the dictionary now. Oh, yeah. I'm tired of people correcting me just because they're not up on their webster yeah guess guess what the urban dictionary says what's true anymore and funner's in there yeah along with a right, lot of dirty stuff right next to twerk and bling <laughs> it's not alphabetized anymore yeah that doesn't matter <laughs> spelling doesn't matter definitions don't matter it's, it's just whatever the kids want to put yeah, in yeah it's an order of newness <laughs> and irritability um, What's the most annoying? We'll put that at the top. I, I think I was thinking about that the other day. I think it. Uh, I think someone voted actually, and I agree. Salty is the worst word in our lexicon. The next word is, of course, lexicon. Lexicon. What short is short for what? lexiconography? <laughs> I do not know. Uh, I don't like selfie only because. Um, I just don't understand. Well, I do understand, but it's just this new trend of everybody truly in insincerity taking pictures of themselves doing everything all the time right and thinking other people want to see that all the to time. the point where even i do it do you do it well i don't hand my phone to some lunatic here 
take my picture. That's embarrassing. Well, that wouldn't be a selfie. Selfie is when you do it yourself. Right, right. Oh. So that's why I end up selfieing because I'm not. Oh, I see. I'm not ever going to invite someone to take a photo <laughs> of me. That's the most humiliating venture I can think of. Here, could you capture me yes. in my aloneness? Uh, you don't know me very well, but I'd like you to hold my phone. It's worth upwards of $200. <laughs> Please don't run. And I'm going to smile at you as if you aren't a stranger holding the most important pocket <laughs> computer I own. That's why, I, that's why I'll just go, all right, I'm in Spain. Click. Mine goes. Does it? And then it goes. You have a Ferris mm, Bueller bom, phone, bom. phone camera. <laughs> the band is called Yellow. Oh. <laughs> Someone knows his 80s life. <laughs> 80s culture. Oh, I do. I have. Uh, actually, that song was also featured in Bright Lights, Big City. Ooh. Uh, prior to. Um, Ferris Bueller? Ferris Bueller, yeah. No. Really? Yes, yes. Bright Lights, Big City. They really did a brave casting choice by putting <laughs> Michael J. Fox into that film. Isn't it about coke? Isn't it like a lighthearted version of, uh, of uh, yeah, fuck. You know what? My brain is a shriveling raisin. <laughs> I think it's because of the heat today. It, that's what we always do. That's our theme. Is like we can't think of words. We can't pronounce words. And we get angry at our brains. Yep. We get angry at our brains, and then I say fuck. It means that uh, <laughs> I thought that you were going to cut down on the fuck word usage. That'll be my last one, I, I swear to God. I like to call it the fuck word. <laughs> <laughs> Don't shorten it. You know, oh, what's the... It's uh, Robert Downey Jr. and James Spader, and there's cocaine use. Oh, that was uh, less than zero. Less than zero. Why isn't Why isn't uh, Bright Lights, Big City a lighthearted version of less than zero? Well, I believe it was the same author, oh. so you're going to get probably the same tone. Oh, or at yeah. least similar. It's Brett Easton Ellis, right? Oh, Breddy. We love Stanellis. <laughs> There's a person named Breddy. Breddy Stanellis. Like, no. how's that sandwich? It's a little too Breddy. Are you joking? I don't know who Breddy Stanellis is. It's three Does everyone know who that is? It's three names. Oh. <laughs> okay. Brett. 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 Easton Ellis. Oh. <laughs> Brett Oh, that's Easton my favorite Ellis. grandma mistake that you've made in front of me so far. God bless you. Oh, do you want a hard candy? Breddy. Breddy Stanellis. He was named after his father, who was a baker. She is a, and his mother was a stenographer, <laughs> and, and her name was Ellis. So, <laughs> Breddy Stanellis became an obvious. Oh, look, uh, this house to the left was the early home of a. Of a Shecky Burfler who was the first prop. Oh, see, I don't like it when someone opens the door and just leaps into traffic. Well, uh, we are right now in just, I'm going to tell the people we're in Rossmore, yeah, the well, Rossmore district. It pretty much is Vine. But it's, it, it's Vine like, turns into Rossmore, yeah. And it becomes beautiful homes, oh, mansions. Such gorgeous homes. I wonder what that person does for a living. Beautiful you know, house like that, 89 Nissan Sentra in the driveway. Right, because you know why? They let the help park in the driveway. Oh, That's what help. it is. The help. I'm just amazed. When I get out of my car and there's passing cars, uh, and we may have talked about this in the past, but I am so cautious. I hug the side of my car. Yeah. I shimmy to the side, <laughs> getting my pants and shirt dirty. Because mm -hmm. you don't wash your car. No, because, because there there's a, a drought. Because there's a drought. There's mm -hmm. a drought, and I don't care if the water lines are breaking and 13,000 gallons are spilling into the sea. You don't care? I do care. You do care. Okay, That's good. what I meant to say the opposite. Good. good. I do care. Good. I said, no, I, here's what I would say. I don't care if we are wasting so much with when water line breakages. I'm not going to wash my car because that's my version of the ice bucket challenge. Oh, <laughs> you're supporting, you are raising money for ALS by yes. not washing your car, even though no one's set up a program. Slash actually raising awareness about the drought in Los Angeles. Oh, I, okay. It's always been a confusing double edge. A uh, charity sword? sword? For me. Maybe I'm having a stroke. Is my face looking weird? Because no. my brain is just not working. No, it's fine. I think it's five o'clock. Um, That's a perfect time of the day to, for me to be firing on all cylinders. But maybe you are. I've had my afternoon coffee. <laughs> maybe you need more. Maybe I do need more. Yeah. Maybe we should get coffee with Andy Kindler. 
<clears throat> we should. Oh, we but should then we'd we totally be ripping off Seinfeld's thing. Oh yeah, that's right. He's Comedians already sent us cars. angry letters. <laughs> Comedians in cars getting coffee with Andy Kindler. Yeah. It's just always Andy. It's. Oh, I'm so excited. I'd watch that. Did he tell you what his meeting was about, or is that it? It's a hush hush thing. Andy's. The, he, no, he was very vague. He he was all worried. Like I don't think I can talk about it, so don't ask me about it. Uh, so. I think we should guess and see what we think it is. Yeah. Uh, if you if it's secretive, then they it might be JFK two Oliver Stone's sequel sure. to the JFK film, which of course he would be involved with. Of course, Andy would write that. Yes. Uh, that's my guess. What's your guess? It, well, the Brady Easton uh, <laughs> seamstress would be the writer on that. Yeah, I mean, don't count that as a misfire, because <laughs> Brady Simillis is the best mistake you've ever made. <laughs> and that's how art happens. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, Joe, come on. GMC Sierra. Oh, he just coughed up a cartoonish black <laughs> cloud onto us, and, and we all know I try and keep this <laughs> Honda clean, sir. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> that was, oh, my God. I, oh, why I think do he's I? He's pulling over because his oh, car is dying. His oh, car did just die. Oh sucks. man, he that didn't sucks. even spit out his cigarette. But I literally have to roll down the window because there's <laughs> so much carbon dioxide in this car. Right that now. was amazing. He did in one <laughs> fail cough swoop. Roll your window down, please. Burst of. It's in my mouth. God, that was like being in a garage for an afternoon. <laughs> it's almost like we were a sad dad trying to off ourselves. Yeah, seriously, I want to live. Yeah. I don't want to die. I want to see my kids go to college. The kids I don't have. Oh, honk yourself. <laughs> now, we're in a very, we're in a hot button area, I would say. Rossmore and Third. This is where a lot of rich people live. The kind of people who don't believe they should wait for anything. Right, so right. you're going to hear honking. You're going to. There's going to be some screechy Land Rovers. Yep. And there's going to be houses that, uh have gardeners with trucks that are breaking down. With trucks that try to kill you like you're a spy chasing them and they're James Bond. <laughs> releasing humongous that black That was clouds. straight out of Spy Hunter, the video game. Yeah. What next, sir? An oil slick? I would like to say to him. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't get uh, video game references. Oh, well, I apologize. Well, it's a Spy Hunter. It's a little game. It's okay. a bird's eye view. You control it and you can uh, do one of two things. Outrun the cars or leave oil in the road and or smoke screen. I see. It was great. It was one of those games that you sit in a thing. All my video game knowledge is from the arcade. Let's just let it be known. I do not... I'm not a home gamer. Oh, I see. This is from... So is it an old one? It um, is a very old yeah, one. Yeah, you're going to go right. And then we're going to go left on Muirfield. Okay. And He just said the corner of Wilshire and Muirfield. I can't wait. We're... I, I would be surprised if he is hesitant to talk about stuff because, I mean... He's the man who does the state of the industry address, and he's not afraid to and then maybe make it's, jabs. Is that Muirfield? No, that's Brookside. Brookside. Well, I'm excited for him to enter the vehicle. Maybe he can pick up and fill Wait, in the this, gaps with some of my is that dead Muirfield? air. No, that's Hudson. Mullen. Mullen. Muirfield. Huh. This is Rimpow. Fucking A. Did we miss it? Because I... It seemed no. like it was right there on the old map. Let me, let me look at this map. I know it did seem like that. Huh. Hudson? Huh. Um, oh, it's... Oh, yeah, it's behind us. Sorry. Okay, that's all right. We're going to turn around. That's we very, that it must have been... Now? Yes. Sorry, I'm, I get cold. Oh, here I go again okay, no, it's on right. my own. Run that yellow. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and then just... Yeah, I'm just yeah, going to go sorry, the back sorry. way. I no. can't. It's the worst habit in the world. I'm the ultimate front seat driver. This podcast is making me work on all my bad habits. It's a, I'm work, a work on making them stronger? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. How? You fucking ass. Oh, oh no. there we go. There she goes. <laughs> oh, Look at that guy. Just taking a rest. Oh. Look at what people lay around in L.A. It's in such a, a... In precarious, like, balanced, like he's a cat. Yeah, he was balanced kind of on a... Uh, um, what would that be? Like a... A, a little wall. planter wall. Yeah. yeah. That is as narrow as his body. Yeah. But he was almost in full slumber. <laughs> what a great guy. He's great. He was like a cartoon mouse, the way he was sleeping. <laughs> Just snoring and his hat hovering above his head and you know being what? sucked back down and then blowing up. I found mirror. I found mirror field. I found it. It's just a field of mirrors. 
Okay. I'm going to be able to tell you exactly when to turn. It's so exciting. It was it was basically a block after our t we turned off. Of Are, will I be morning. taking a right? Uh, he said south, so yes. I okay. believe so. Muirfield. I Home hope so. Of the popular Muircat. I don't like when... Or it might be on the corner, so you know what? Oh, Mullen. Well, That's Mullen. Interesting. Yeah, we're not there yet. Oh. We have a, about a block. This to, looks like so a Muirfield Road. Oh, we'll try this way first. Yeah. Muir... Muir... Oh, that says Muri, M U I R. Five five zero. Jeez, that was Muir. Korean. Yeah, that was a bizarre word. So I think it was up above. God damn it. Oh. Uh. So let me, we let me text him to see if he can come to the corner. Yeah, that'd Hold be on. great. So uh, I'm gonna do another. There's a lot of uh, these episodes. We are gonna be listing <laughs> driving <laughs> logistics. Thank you. That guy fancies himself a bit of a traffic director. Oh yeah. Um. Oh, I'm gonna wait here. Okay. Because every once in a while, you know, you can't not just talk about what is happening currently right? in your like, car as you drive. You're yeah. being forced to narrate your own. You turns. Oftentimes I do it out of uh, necessity, safety, really. I'm like, I'm taking a U-turn. Does any, if anyone opposes, say <laughs> nay. There he is right there. He is right there. Now we have to get across this. Oh. I think you can do it. We're coming for you, Mr. Kidler. Come on, Andy. Oh, he can't hear us. We're so We're far so away. Oh, he, he waved. He waved. He waved. He waved. He waved. Let We're everyone know that he waved. He is confirming <laughs> that we are arriving and he will be entering and uh, judging by this traffic, it'll only be 30 minutes. So the mistake I just made uh, made Chris go right instead of left, and now we are on one side of Wilshire, and this is like the game Frogger, where the chances of us getting to the other side of Wilshire are, uh, no. But me, the chances of me sidestepping and leaping on a floating log <laughs> are very are a hundred to one. There we go. Well done. Alrighty. There and he is. Here he goes, and here we are. Yay! <laughs> already <at> <laughs> liked what he's doing. <laughs> Hello, sir. Would you like a ride? Hi there. Yeah, what? Hi. How's you? <laughs> Hi. How's my acting? <laughs> Yeah, this, Lewis style this, slapstick. this is, po oh, this is oh, the I'm podcast. It's, oh, you can't hear me? Audio. Did you did you not hear the first part? I saw, I saw the. I do, do like your act. Do you want to do it voila? <laughs> do you want to catch it wild? Let's do it a cappella. Let's go in the studio and do it wild. <laughs> Are we going to do any ADR? And additional record? Get in. All right. Okay. <laughs> Do you need help? Well, the airport's just crazy today. No, you don't have to pretend. Oh, I don't have to pretend? No. No, no, no I just meant in general. <laughs> Who's with me? Who's with me? Ah. Wait, is there a cup holder? Um, there can be. No, what if there is? And I've, you hold this I've never second? sat. Yeah, I'll hold it. I'll hold it the whole Wait, drive. Do people like the fourth wall being broken? They love it. <laughs> it's so real. Yeah, we've been talking about traffic this whole time. And he's, can, he's entering the vehicle. He's getting his luggage. He looks like a pharmaceutical rep. He's got two small black yes, roller bags. Filled with Pfizer uh, products. Nice. And, uh, I love the way you say I don't have to pretend. Tell that to Peter Pan. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my God. That's so good. <laughs> Tinker, who's Tinkerbell? <laughs> Why did they call it Tinkerbell? <laughs> I'm taking four hours to put two bags in the car. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I will do... The bit that I do all the time. Huh? I'm sorry, I can't sign if I sign for you. <laughs> I have to sign for everybody. <laughs> oh, also, like Louis C.K., I refuse to take a picture with you. <laughs> it takes me longer to tell you that I refuse to take a picture with you than it would be to take a goddamn picture. Is that right, true? Let's get in there. Does he really it not take it pictures? It can't be true. It is true. It simply cannot I be. I am telling you. But all the stories I've heard is that he's just a sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? He is the greatest comic of our generation. It's true. He's and uh, Andy, wait. All right, let's not get into this. Let's talk about you, though, is what I, I mean. I know, and how I'm not the greatest comic <laughs> of our I think you are. Here, I'm going to... Do I not reveal where you're going. You are of my whole life. Yeah, no, we will not. Can you hold this mic one more second? Because I, I don't know about you guys, but I strap in. Yeah, oh, good idea. No, we're all strapped in. We are all strapped in. Uh, someone insert a, a sexual joke. <laughs> strapped in? More uh, like... More like... <laughs> 
hanging from a harness <laughs> with a asphyxiate. What's is that? Is that the kids like the <laughs> is asphyxiation that the, they humor? Love asphyxiation. Is that the new? That's what she said. Okay. <laughs> no, no, but it's, oh, I'll take the soda back now. Okay, terrific. No, no, it's the guy oh, who uh, soda. Soda. I can't say what the brand is. <laughs> I like cola. <laughs> you don't want to get sued again. No. We remember that Shasta debacle. Matt, or as your joke was in the A's. AIDS. <laughs> I don't want to get that. Dot, dot, dot. Again. <laughs> Karen still loves the classics. I love any, any yeah. good AIDS joke. It's Again. Just so hilarious. Right oh, well, should I turn my phone off? Who cares? Should I turn right or left? You should right, go right. Oh. Don't say where you're going, though. No, oh, I won't. I won't. Because it's going to be a series of... Uh, Mal- you know, if, even if you say uh, the most expensive part of Malibu, that's too much. <laughs> <laughs> but even then, the people will be driving wildly toward your home. You're, uh, you Why just. Why do you say home? It's my like new that accent. That's it's her. My podcast. <laughs> Anytime we talk about Malibu, she does this rich person accent who well, says. Well, hello, I belong here. <laughs> I, can I come enter your home? <laughs> Do, you, do we have to kid, do we ID? Are you still on this podcast where you ID? 15 minutes before the hour. Oh, sure. And, uh, do you want to do, do that? Ed, no, but every one of my bits that break the fourth wall are all tired and old. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you could do some the occasional traffic report, that'd yeah, be great that'd be because my Waze app is not being Well, used. I'll be in my jet. Oh, I love the thing I love about Waze is when I'm driving and I can't even unitask, I like things <laughs> popping up, bubbles popping up. Yeah, oh, what is... I, Join this club. It's a gun. It's a game or something like you get coins. Oh no, no, gay. Oh no, game gaze. No, no on ways. Ways. Gaze I have in the gaze. military. <laughs> I have gaze. G A Z E. Go straight to the. A, a guy who was in the village. People gives you directions. <laughs> and, and no, to too much, too soon. <laughs> you have to get the microphone out of your mouth. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you really, you hit yeah. gaze really hard. Gaze. <laughs> Uh, I think uh, you're going the opposite of the way, but I don't even care. You live in the valley. Oh, but yeah, you're going south. No, we're not. We're going north right now. Uh, hello, I think I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> hello. Hello. Oh, I, now that, that's still good, right? Yes. yes. Are you watching the levels? Uh, I, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what Chris does as he drives. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. very. Oh, and well, it's you, want a, new, you want to hear my new joke that I just came up with? Please. Uh, because I, I have to, uh, instead of writing it down. Could you send it to me? Sure. The joke is, uh, you know, I compare everybody to Hitler, right? Yeah. So uh, 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 Harvey Levin is evil. He's, uh, he's, he's, I'd say he's worse than Hitler because Hitler wasn't a gossip. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Too soon. Harvey Too Levin, uh, TMZ. Oh, that's right. People around the country they don't know. Yeah, this. yeah. See, I did, and this is an international audience. Yeah. So when did you two get married? Well, it was uh, <laughs> it was a <laughs> shotgun style. <laughs> Literally, I, mean, I held a gun to her head. Oh. What about your dad with a shotgun? That's not funny. My father just got shot this morning. I'm so oh, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> that was this morning. <laughs> I love that joke. After he dies, what was so funny? <laughs> you can rewrite it after he dies. Oh yeah. Make my, it about someone else. You know, I, I don't want to get divorced because I love my wife, but I want to have ex-wife jokes. Oh. You can. Or my first wife jokes. I feel like people expect that from you. Yeah. First wife jokes are better than ex-wife jokes. You that could means... do first wife because she is your first wife. Right. That's true. It's That's true. Technically it is. accurate. Let, can I do a, some a couple of Ken Burns things? Here? Oh, of course. <laughs> uh, is, is my career over? Okay, well, I wouldn't say over. <laughs> you always have to identify the question. <laughs> uh, am I the oldest person of my group? Uh, still doing it and it's not looking good maybe all right <laughs> take that out i'm gonna be one of those take that out guys are you just workshopping shit we have to have a conversation oh okay i'm sorry that is really a, a problem with me whenever they say like an actors have to listen yeah then then let's take me out of the loop <laughs> right right i'm just wait. Well, you're waiting uh to tell jokes that's, that's what all i, I do. do that when you see their lips when i'm acting with someone i see their lips moving <laughs> all i can say is like i don't remember the script are they completely done <laughs> <laughs> that's not true you're very good on Marin andrew oh god i wanted you to wait seven minutes more because oh, i'm sorry you didn't give me the schedule you oh yeah the Marin mention was supposed to be 20 that's minutes that's right it's, a, it's I, supposed to be at 5 30 <laughs> it's five thirty on the dot. Uh, Jan, and, uh, we have a we have a, a four oh five is blocked up. We have a fender bender. And you know there's, what? There's a tan Saturn with a child in the back. He belongs there. Leave them alone. 
<laughs> what if some, his parents. What if someone referred to a terrible accident? Oh, we have a fender bender. Fifty-five <laughs> people were killed on the uh, I-5. It was a fender You're bender. You're going to want to avoid that tragedy. Uh, it was raining, and they ran into a little bit of wet stuff. <laughs> uh, so, coming up. Now the wet stuff is blood. <laughs> oh, man, died in the desert today because they hit triple digits. <laughs> <laughs> now, a pu- new all one right. from this Puddle of the- Mud. I think we're all over the top now. We should bring it down. Okay. Yeah, let's a notch. <laughs> all right. At Just least call it to my laugh. Call so it you're, you were at a you were at a high pressure Hollywood meeting. We just picked you up. Adam. Oh yeah. Right? Uh, well, I did a thing, and I can say this part of the thing that I did, mm-hmm. okay. and, and this has happened to me once a week now. First of all, I want to thank Karen because I realized I didn't say anything embarrassing except that in the. I will say what I said in the tweet. Okay. Oh no, it wasn't a tweet. It was a text. A text. That's right. I'm not <laughs> tweeting to you this. I text you. I can't say that what I was doing. But here's what I text. I go. Uh, I think I'm doing it to Susan. I say, Oh, it's a five diamond hotel, and it's the and it, uh, the incidentals. They I didn't have to put a credit card down <laughs> on the room. I just, we get all free food, and I got per diem. How sad is my life <laughs> that I you know that uh, or stand up comics life. That not being asked for a credit card is, is cause for celebration. Oh, it's the best though. And once a week I do this because something with the iPhone, if you if I'm texting to you and then a new text comes in and then I text back, somehow it's always to to the last person. Because no, wake up, Andy. This is interesting. Yeah, yeah. Get up, get up. <laughs> Andy, oh, he's in the wake field. up, Andy. <laughs> oh, he spilled his soda all that over. That should be feet. a great name of my sitcom. <laughs> wake wake up, up, Andy. <laughs> this is interesting. <laughs> no, can you explain to me why it happens? Well, yes, because I bet you don't. You don't touch the like the blue dot where the new message comes in. You just start writing. I right. Would, in my mind, you I seem you, like that type of person. You foam at the mouth and just, <laughs> yeah, and just write like, like a rabbit, man. like an animal of some kind. Well, but, I just said to the no. This is another sad thing. I know it things, seemed like I was going to hit that car, but I didn't. No, you did. Carry on. You did. Uh, I'm telling you one thing <laughs> that I know for a fact is okay. that you guys are going south. It's that, not true. We are heading toward the mountains. Do you see? Yeah, look at you that. See my, why? Why when I'm even more wrong when I let it go? <laughs> well, that's right. Because I see this restaurant, guys. We're heading north. What's the matter with you? What I hope is that when we get up to the Highland and Hollywood area, you triple down and once again tell us we're going south. Yeah, are I you hope. Sure. <laughs> I hope that after we're done recording and you're walking into your house, you could look back and you go, I don't know why we went south. <laughs> we went south the whole way to get here. It didn't make sense. If we don't, if I don't say it, we'll do them when we do the other wild lines. Oh, right. Yeah. We, oh, oh we do have to pick up a little room tone, too. Yeah. I'll just do that you now. You know what? We'll just play. On. <laughs> Quite There's please. a room tone. Quite oh, please. it's fun to do it. it Are you telling funny. me you have wacky sound effects? <laughs> oh, yeah. Whatever it takes. Do you know what you can get room tone? You can get that at any Andy Kindler show. Ooh. <laughs> and a lot of people, Karen, what do you think? Here, here's the way I go into regular material. Yeah, I ask is, you. I love that joke. That is a really good a joke. Lot room of, tone? A lot of filmmakers yeah. come to my comedy show, shows well, just I mean, to pick up some room tone. <laughs> yeah. You would yeah. say that. That's oh, your joke already. Pull out your index cards and write that one down. I want to, but then it'll take... Oh, it may, uh, maybe I could put it on a thing. <laughs> oh, maybe I could get my phone out. I you know what I've been using a lot is, uh, and maybe the kids will like to hear this, <laughs> is I use the voice memo a lot. Oh, yeah, me right? Yeah. So, course. like, uh, and uh, the thing is, people will say, listening to this, why doesn't he just listen to the podcast? Let's not get crazy. Yeah, you're not that interested. <laughs> okay, so here's what I do. Um, here you go. A lot of uh, f- movie directors and producers, they come down to my comedy shows just to get room tone <laughs> I, I would you. not use the producer yeah, oh, you know, I oh, okay. I would just say directors Okay. Directors producers are good. rarely on set they're yeah. usually the money people you don't need people. to add extra words Andy, yeah. it could it just be a lot of doesn't make it a lot of camera note to self don't people. go with producers <laughs> stick with directors and don't forget that Harvey Levin gold <laughs> <laughs> oh my I'm God. a lawyer <laughs> I think we're going diagonally. <laughs> Why are we going diagonally? Why are we heading directly towards the beach, Karen? Now I don't know what I'm doing. Just with drive my... into the ocean, please. I know what I'm talking about. Just for like... one, for one block, let's do uh, the morning too. Okay. Uh, 65 degrees and uh, uh, Karen, you were over at T.J. Gregory's last night. You when were sucking back the oh, <laughs> When is she not? Guys, guys. Uh, tomorrow oh. is Fart Wednesday. <laughs> not to be confused. That's the first time I've ever you said guys fart. Are bad. <laughs> you guys are bad. That's so all the women on there are just always like these sad, milk toasty. Like, are you kidding me? 
Last night in sports. Oh, she Karen's offended. Karen's offended. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, you mean for a change? Yeah, she doesn't like when the here's jokes the one, go up the colon. Here's the one thing out. Here's what I don't, here's what I don't get about women. Yeah. You get no, Karen answer this for us. You give them a you yeah, give them right. a, their okay. hand and they take the all the fingers. <laughs> That's exactly right. Why can't I say a woman's on the rag? <laughs> exactly. I mean, sorry, Gloria Steinem, well, you're on the rag. And that's what she would say. That's she what women died. would say. She did not die. No, she didn't. Oh. But, but the but woman on a morning zoo show would think she died. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I'm going deep with my character. It's subtle. Yes, and I like it. But, you know, a woman comic did get mad at me, I think. And here's why. I think it's hilarious to, every time I introduce a woman comic, to me it's funny to say, are you ready for a lady now? Or yeah. change up the I like. It, are you guys annoying. ready? It is annoying because now someone has to react to it. So I've decided to stop it. Are you agree right. that I should stop it even though it's funny to me? No. Okay, <laughs> screw that woman. <laughs> Not literally. Well, because here's the thing. Of all the things that can happen to you as a female comic, that is the least bad of all of them. The worst right. version I've heard is, are you guys ready for a little estrogen? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've heard well, of... No, yeah, it no. all depends on how you're doing it. If you're doing it as a joke and people understand that. Oh, no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Karen, do you really think I am going up there and saying... No, I'm just making the point clear. Oh, that's <laughs> that's <laughs> I, look, I don't know what's happening. You know what? I'm ovulating. <laughs> <laughs> well, and also women, there are women who do it. That, that was one of my favorite um, flyers in San Francisco. There was a comedy team. What the, uh, what was it called? The Mix it. Nuts. No, no, it was all women and it was a play on something like estrogen. What the hell was it? God, I, of course I forget it. Um, do you remember? It was Hormonally like, yours? <laughs> yes, it was something like that. Uh -huh. And it was so terrible and it was their fucking idea. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because now you, because a lot of the young kids who listen, because uh, I'm, I'm sure your 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 uh, demographic is the sweet spot. It, yeah, yeah, 15, four, four, 11 to 15. Mm -hmm. it's, lo it's younger now, yeah. 9 to 4. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 9 to 4. All of my people. It goes backwards, it goes south. Yeah, 9 God to 4, forbid. 3. <laughs> you don't want to leave out the 2 year olds. <laughs> um, but uh, you remember the 80s comedy shows where everyone was named a woman of the night. Yes. That kind of thing. Yes. Every, it was all prostitute shows. Prostitute shows. <laughs> Women of the night. Yeah. yeah. Whores. Funny whores. <laughs> was a popular show. <laughs> Overreaction. Thank you. I knew yeah. I'd remember it. It was called Overreaction. Oh. I don't even, why don't I Overree. even get that? Overy. Oh. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I didn't hit that the That is hyphen. a really good joke. That's a good... First it's of all, not puns, are, puns are funny. There's, no. a, there's a pretty good show right now called Transparent, and I it was I was halfway through Joe the Sully. pilot, yeah, and yeah. I realized it's about a transgendered parent. Oh, yes. I can see. I never Trans get that. I parent. never get that. And isn't that great? Oh, it's transparent. I wouldn't get have gotten that in a million... Just like I don't get that sweetheart. <laughs> Sweethearts are a version of sweethearts. You mean the candy? Yes, the candy, goddamn. <laughs> They're a sweet tart. You know what? Turn this car around. We need to go south. I hate this car around. And I swear to God, that's all news to me. I thought they were just sweethearts. I think I'm wrong. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. They're, they're sweet tarts. Sweet tarts. Yeah. Sweet tarts. Sweet oh, tarts. Maybe there were sweethearts, too. I remember there was a big lawsuit in the candy industry. No, there was not. Oh, yeah. I would never. Did you get... Would you it went down in history. Parents? I would never. Yes, no, I you did. Would but, get it. but I knew the story beforehand. I knew that Jill's dad had become... Uh, what? Transgender. Yeah. I don't know this. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. Now, because what does his dad or her dad think about it? I'm not sure. I haven't seen the show. Wait, you know the actual people that show's based on? I know Jill Soloway. Oh, and, okay. and when that show, they made that show, and then it was a thing on Amazon where it got upvoted. So, yeah. like, the, they made a pilot or something, and then it was like... Upvoted? Why are you distancing me with lingo? <laughs> Oh, I want you to upvoted. get away oh, from me. Upvoted. Okay, cool. That's cool. <laughs> you're, uh, you're in? You're back my in? My dream is to get upvoted. <laughs> now, here's the thing. What if she was like Woody Allen or something, and she says, it's not based on my life. Don't draw that conclusion. Oh, <laughs> you know, that's... like how people say their stuff isn't based on their life, but now it's true. Uh, okay. What do I say? The, I say the joke. It's not even a joke, and I have to repeat it as if you didn't hear it correctly. I know. That's yeah. what I do, too. You thought it was going to go for Woody Allen and get into the whole Woody Allen thing, which I will not. Oh, I got real nervous that you were going to go straight to me pedophilia. Too. No, no, I'm anti people Pedophilia? calling you. Oh, no. good. <laughs> you just now you really do sound like a morning zoo person. No, I was anti people thinking that the and this was a joke that I said was the court of public opinion is not an actual court. It enraged me that people who knew nothing 
people were all of a sudden saying he was guilty. Let's not get into this because I'll get into atheism, the, the angry atheist. Oh, Jesus. And you'll throw, you'll kick me out of the car. You're becoming the people that you hate. You're one- <laughs> yeah, I said it to your face. You're one of those. microphone in my hand. Why do you go the extra step? <laughs> <laughs> because I'm dedicated to this podcast. Oh, and, and very matter of factly. Yep. Of course. Oh, you. Haven't nope. I always run straight at you, Andy, from oh. since 1990 when I first met you? Coming straight at me for, oh, for over 25 years. <laughs> With open arms and a, in a, in a nice way, like you're going to hug him, right? No, real sharp edge. Oh, and Yeah, she has edgy, sharp elbows. Yeah. <laughs> um, Andy, I met Andy when I was 20 years old. He was the first comedian I ever met, and I was so nervous to meet him. My friend Alicia Gonzalez was dating him at the time, and so she was like, I went to see him at the Laugh... Laughs Unlimited. Laughs Unlimited. Old sack, not the citrus ice one. <laughs> not the nice one. Not, and, um, we weren't on the way to Reds. <laughs> we weren't driving up to Reds. And Andy was meddling for Steve Bruner. I don't remember that part. Uh, remember Steve Bruner? Oh, he would rate his jokes. He would start out with no, a five. He told me that's what I needed to do to my set. Oh, I needed wow. to um, list my jokes best first to least oh, good no. 10 and then I needed to put number 1 at number 10 and number 10 <laughs> at number 2 and number 8 at number 3 and he gave me literally a mathematical Was he equation. a card counter? Was he autistic? <laughs> he was the... Who, pr- he, who prioritizes jokes and then reorganizes them I think numerically. I think a 30-year road comic, right? Well, who decide, who in, I hope those 30 who, years who, are up. What? Who in God's name would say would want... There to be jokes that weren't as funny. I don't. I could never think like. Well, they're all pretty funny. Right. Well, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Is I don't think I have a one, and I hope I don't have a ten. You know what I mean? Yeah, way I think they're all fours, and there's definitely some sevens. But I'm working on them, or I'll just get rid of them. Like, so it, it works. It works. You've already rated them, right? <laughs> Back me up on this, Chris. Yeah. You've already rated them. See, we're making fun of him, but he helped you out. But he actually, helped you he out was a, lot. a brilliant, yeah. brilliant man, and he yeah. helped me more than Andy. Who, the only thing Andy would tell me as help, and I was panicking because the first really big uh, comedy set I did, the third time I did stand up, I was in a contest. I can't even believe it was the third time. It looked like it was the fourth time at the <laughs> right? come on no you were so hilarious I'm in trouble but Andy all Andy the only advice he would give me was stare at the back wall like there's a clock on it oh that's hilarious it's the only thing he would say and, and I, I kept looking at him like pray. I knew there was something he could be telling me that would help me and that's all he would say yeah, that was bad that was not my best work you know my whole thing was I see this I see this chick coming up my uh, backside oh, I'm sorry about that one. but you know I wanted to knock you out before you got good you really good you oh know? I see it's yeah sabotage I'm a, I'm a sabotager guy Listen all y'all, this is Sabotage. You know, I read Beastie Boys. What was that? Beastie Boys. She was rapping. Oh, the I don't know Boys. enough of them, but I love the idea of liking the Beastie Boys. Because they were funny and I love them and I know nothing about them. Not even one song. You gotta fight for your right to party. That's what so you know what? I like the concept of enjoying them too, but I don't in actuality enjoy the Beastie Boys anymore. You don't either? I don't. Either. I don't. Oh no, you gotta fight for your right to party. It's great. Well, no, I do that every I also- day. Because people are always trying to shut my parties down. He doesn't need a song about it, he's living it. People- oh, there's my agent. Guess what they're all rushing to do. You were going to do it. Yeah, they're shutting down a party right now. Uh, Oh, I'm sorry. There's the uh, career police. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. He's over here. He already left the meeting. (laughs) Oh, I'm sorry. I left my defibrillator at home. (laughs) Come on, two more. I hope it... Dave Allen Gruber once heard this, but it's a different one. He went to see the Glenn Miller Band, and it wasn't the original members, but they actually Do you mean Steve Miller? Uh, and not Steve Miller, Glenn Miller. Glenn yeah. Miller, the old band leader? The yeah. orchestra oh. guy? So he went to see the Glenn Miller band, but they weren't, and, and of course Glenn Miller disappeared. But then they weren't, uh, maybe they weren't the original members, or maybe they were, so they hear a plane overhead, and the guy says, hope that's one of ours. <laughs> oh, wow. What? I don't oh, get it. Oh, like, it in other words, it was like w- it's w- World w- War II. Oh, I see. WW2. Oh, w- w- I tell a ter- terrible story. I mean, it's I got just, it. I, I understood it. I'm sorry, it was from that, one, years. that story spoke to me like an old Beastie Boys song. <laughs> oh, you don't? If the Mamie Eisenhower joke isn't strong, you don't remember the reference. <laughs> you bring Lady Bird Johnson, and I'm there. <laughs> but any earlier than that? Did you say earlier? <laughs> what are you from Petaluma? <laughs> <laughs> Asshole. What are you from? Now here's the thing about Karen. I was in love with Karen. I don't mean like romantically in love. I mean, of course I was romantic. Who wouldn't be? I told. I said she had. Sp- I was in love. I think with every woman I've seen since 1982. Do, and, do comedy or just in general at in all? In general, in general. Okay. I love women. I have never not. It's like 
oh that one's uh, that one has a uh, her hair's too long. Forget about it. <laughs> just keep me keep me not just a restraining order. Keep me restrained. Oh, <laughs> but I love Karen so much, and I remember every single time in the early days when we saw each other because I remember her in the green room when she came in and she said I know Lisa Gomez that's I how Lisa nervous <laughs> I said my friend's name wrong I thought it was a bit that she was doing the nervous <laughs> bit and, and it's just like this woman and I thought you were hilarious but you really were nervous I was so nervous because I was doing stand up comedy like I had just started a month before and I was so thrilled that I was actually How, doing it. A month later, you had a paid gig opening? It wasn't paid. Oh, okay. No, 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 I wasn't opening. I just went to see him. Middle. Oh, I thought it was you and Nurt Burfler down at the uh, <laughs> the guy that... How, why did he prioritize your jokes then? Oh, no, because he came he to the, the comedy contest. Uh, we, the comedy contest was in a little club okay. where we just did it on Earth. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Read our his, read our book about the last <laughs> unlimited. Of the, the Sacramento scene. Um... <laughs> But I was so excited to actually be doing stand-up comedy because I wanted to do it since I was 12. But I, in my mind, I was like, you never will. And then when I flunked out of college, I was like, well, you might as well do it now because you have nothing <laughs> to lose. And then I actually was. And then I was like, it was the first time I was in a comedy club, in a green room, meeting a comedian that was a real professional comedian. Right. It was like all my dreams were coming true right on the heels of everything falling apart. So it was, I was just... <laughs> it was so funny piece. to me. It's so funny. And the other thing is, I, other thing was that I just went to see you in an Antigone. You did? Yes. I didn't know you saw that. With Lisa. I... That was my proudest, my starring role. I was Antigone in the play at my junior college. After I flunked out of college, I signed up for junior college. It's a play called Antigone? It's a Greek play called oh, Antigone. And I was my favorite. I got the lead. The Greeks. Uh, against all odds, I totally thought, I didn't know any of these people. I auditioned, and I thought it was going to be all the people that got all the parts. You know, that's usually how co theater departments work, is you know the person that's going to get the lead in this, and da-da-da. And my... The person Kelly Weir, who taught my acting class, don't don't mention names. Was <laughs> Bob Weir's relative somehow. Um, she cast me as the lead, which I never like had in at my other college had no chance of getting lead. I can't believe you saw that. I know it was so great, and and but it was also like a uh, uh, a different time of. Oh, by the way, you, against all odds, I was up for the lead in Against All Odds. I wanted to do that yeah. joke ten minutes. Ago. Jeff Bridges has screwed me over, and now to hear that he screwed you over once. <laughs> is he in that? Or is it James Woods? It's Jeff Bridges. Jeff Bridges James yeah. Woods uh, is not a handsome man. No. But, but what, is that with the Phil, the great Phil Collins song Against yeah. All Odds? That's right. Oh my God! Everything he did. I love when he remakes like Supreme songs. Yes. Because the Supreme songs, you're like, okay, this is okay, but. When's Phil Collins? What's Phil gonna... Collins take? But then, and then okay. So here's the other Drumming memorable well things. Right. <laughs> Karen slept in my bed in Hermosa Beach. You Ooh. don't remember this either? Oh wow! Well, I think I do. I she got locked out. But we were pals. We were. And I was a. And uh, I was a. Why do I? If the more I say I was a. If I say I was a gentleman, the more people are going to dig in to see what happened, right? And I was a complete gentleman. That's a guy you don't want to well, sleep like in your bed. Well, like you didn't get into the bed and like while I was asleep. Yeah. Do you remember how small my apartment was? Yeah, it was was it a studio? It, it was a half of a garage in Hermosa Beach, <laughs> and you had lost your keys. Yes, I was a drunk. Oh, I didn't know it was that. I thought you were. I thought you just found me uh, hilarious that night. That you were laughing so hard. <laughs> but didn't you notice I had access for eyes? Uh, <laughs> no, I wouldn't have, no, because, uh, you did say, I, I wear a towel. I, I, I lost my keys. Can I come in there? You're funny, hiccup. <laughs> Barf. The word hiccup. And yeah. the thing is, we, we must not have been, we weren't in the club, and it was probably a club in Hollywood or something like that, and she had to drive all the way to Hermosa Beach. You're drunk. To hear old man Kindler <laughs> talk about his future. I think I, that was the first time I saw you in running shorts. Oh my god! It was very upsetting because I, I didn't realize good. you were like a marathoner. Yeah, right. Could but you, I do have solid legs. You abs you have a runner's legs, but it was a weird like I only ever pictured you in. You like, don't need to picture me that com way. Comedy clothes. I was given horrible legs. I'm just going to throw that in there. Is I that don't true? believe that. I have tiny spindly legs, no calves. <laughs> you very have Jew pale. hair now, Jew oh, throw. Yeah, I know. See. That, that's see, right. Before, we were talking about it. It was that. old timey. Uh, it was old timey. I'm I'm in that show that you board, I I boardwalk Chris, saints. I boardwalk saints. I told what? Chris. I am everyone's grandfather. I told Chris his hair when we met up. 
at the cafe, I said you could get a part on Boardwalk Empire because <laughs> your hair is absolutely perfect 30 seconds. And then I said in an hour it turns more pubic uh, fro like. So and pubic. sure enough, that. Now tell me that. Tell me that same thing. I could and just say it to me though. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Andy, your hair is so 30s ish, you could yeah. get a part on Boardwalk Empire. I'd like to get any part at this point, anywhere, oh, on thought, any show. I That's it was so good. Be a joke. Take it again. Okay. Uh, Andy, your hair uh, is so 30s ish. I wish I even had enough money to go to a boardwalk at this point. <laughs> You didn't even let me say oh, Boardwalk sorry, Empire yeah, this time. Take, take it from the other day. Uh, take three? Yeah. And quiet, uh, please. Oh, what's Karen? Do you have a question for me? It's like Byron Allen would do it. Karen, do you have a question for me? I understand you have a question for me. I understand That's how Byron Allen would do You have a question movie. about fish tanks for me. Yeah, is it true that you... Uh, comics Unleashed, but unable to get away from Byron Allen. <laughs> oh, God. Andy, can I ask you a question? Please do. And Chris... You think about your answer. I might too. blurt out my answer. Okay. Answer seriously. Right? It's whoever, yeah, whoever answers first. Okay. Because it is October second. Mm-hmm. Halloween is just around the corner. What candy is your favorite Halloween candy? Oh, for God's sake! I know what sake. mine is. Go. It is the uh, the ones that candy corn. Really? That's your favorite? I oh, get my. sick to my stomach after about eight of them. That's because they're made of candle wax. <laughs> But I also have fooled myself into thinking that the yellow part at the top tastes different than the orange part at the bottom. And it's terrible candy, but I love it. Oh, yeah. and sweet, Sweethearts, that's not the right one. Sweethearts. No, that's, a, that's Thanksgiving. No, that's a, a Valentine's Day. <laughs> that is uh, the, Valentine's Day. What is the most famous Thanksgiving candy? Uh, those little pumpkins. Oh, pumpkins. Tur- that's not tur- how uh, you say it. No, turkey, turkey <laughs> mints. Turkey mints. Have you had a turkey mint? Oh, they're delicious. <laughs> Just, they put you right to sleep. Tryptophan drops. <laughs> you know, when you're doing this podcast, I bet that people... It'd be interesting to know if people can sense when everyone is looking at the lane next to you. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like right. a little pause. Uh-oh, are we going to die? Uh-oh, are we going to Is this it? Yeah, there is. There are awkward pauses, mostly because our lives are in danger. But so far, you have no complaints, right, Andy? And This is so fun. I really think this is so good that it should be a show but on TV, but it won't. Because it's well, that good. <laughs> well, we had cameras on the car. Or a, no, no. I mean, why do I have to make it? it? already is great. I don't know why this works so great. I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't say great. It is. You know, uh, uh, here's my pitch. Here's my pitch. Why you why you should do a show like this. Okay. okay. <laughs> you're already doing a show. No. Uh, because you're looking around, and it's kind of like you're looking at the scenery, and you're talking. Mm-hmm. So it's not like when you have the cans on. Right. In the studio. <laughs> I don't like those cans. <laughs> well, I do like when people put them on, uh, and there is a woman on the. I like to say, "Oh, look at the cans on that one." But then I, <laughs> after that, I ignore them. I like to take them off after that joke. Is I'd said. love to hear what you d- would say when a woman has her jug headphones on. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm talking about they're made of jugs, Karen. Oh, I see. Sorry, sorry. Do you have to? Does everything have to be code pink with you? <laughs> <laughs> that truly was an overreaction. <laughs> Overy. <laughs> Overreaction and action. <laughs> Here's my ovaries. <laughs> I like this uh, episode right now because we're actually on the 101 North in, in really terrible in traffic. shitty traffic. Yeah, and here's great. the thing. I love it. It's not as bad as everyone makes it out to be. Who can't? Well, because we're having fun. Right. But we is have, this really the worst thing in the world? I'm being say? more quiet this episode because I am filled with anger because of the traffic. Isn't that interesting? Is that true? I do talk less when I'm filled with road rage. That's not what it is, Chris. You Nobody can get a word in edgewise if I'm in a car, <laughs> if I'm on a podcast. Okay, I, I have to stop. You know what I'm saying to myself, Andy? Count internally. Maybe that will help <laughs> you stop hogging every uh, damn that, hour. That may be the case, but I absolutely do not want you to stop talking. Yo, you can't. No. You know what I have to stop saying, though? And what? I mean it. I have to stop saying <laughs> this. I used to say twice a day that I want Robin Williams the conversation. Uh, and I had more Robin Williams jokes than Robin Williams did. See, you know what? So did everybody. Yeah. Do you really, Did you make fun of Robin Williams? Mm, I think everyone did. A, no, I, I don't think I... That, that wasn't really... I don't know. He wasn't like... But I would definitely have disdain for like he was known as a thief or these different sure. things. That's what we were all told. That was, that was kind of like the hip approach. And the only thing is like, uh, you know, I understand that like everyone... Was sad. Get, you get to change your mind and you get to see that maybe you were making judgmental generalizations because whatever that's all fine but it's the people that were making fun of him before and the second he died it's like uh here's a link to my think piece on how much he meant in my life it's like wow that's a total 180 that you're just going ahead you're just going to go ahead and take publicly i felt fine about retweeting things that people said 
But yes. then it wasn't like I'm lying. You know, I I felt sad about it because it was he died under such terrible. It's very sad. Sir, and I know like some I have some friends who love him and all this kind of stuff. But so I but I would have been ridiculous if I had said anything. Yes. Because it would have been phony. It if did I said, seem. Yeah. Even the people that did say something, it was phony because it was just an opportunity for everyone to tell their joke. Or their story <clears throat> that involved them somehow interacting with Robin Williams. It, like, was a... Everyone showing off that, yes. that time that they yeah, met picture. Him. The worst ones were when people would say something sad and then promote their gig that night. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Did you really see that? No, no, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, the, the thing that made I'll me I'll be sad. thinking about you tonight in the main room at Flappers, <laughs> 8.30. <R. I>. <laughs> Please vote for me on my blog about my Robin Williams. If I get the most hits, I get a free uh, derby. Seriously? So far, I'm in the lead. Parentheses. Well, it is my blog, I guess. I was just sad that he. <laughs> I was sad he. What was that motion? Like that, was, the, the, that was Chris's sign that I need the, to shut my mouth. Oh. He does it all the time. I do a little backhand flinch. <laughs> she usually quivers a little, and then it's that's when I start talking. That's what happened with my ex-wife. It works every time. <laughs> Quivering a little, and that's when I start talking. <laughs> Your first wife. Let's read. Let's oh, my ex-wife. <laughs> Stick with the first one. Stick with the jokes. <laughs> I love that on Twitter. I, isn't your favorite thing on Twitter when they say, why don't you just uh, go back and do the funny joke? Stop it. Why you, stick to what you do best. Be <laughs> right. funny. Be a, Who be says a clown. That? Who says Many that? people do. Just oh, rando, I don't like those people. Rando people. Um, rando Calrissians. <laughs> okay, I have to answer my wife's text. Go ahead. Oh, yes. As, oh, no, I don't have to talk. While you do that, we will... Um, oh, do a thing between you two? Here, what, uh, oh, you keep going straight for a long time. Okay. Uh, okay. Not that long, though. No, but... It, uh, uh, it's up for debate. <laughs> it's up for debate about how long. For right now, it's going to be a long time. When we are getting near... The exit. I in want you to lean up. In car. Period. <laughs> I'm using the voice memo. Period. Oh, I'd get over so you don't get on. The, they think this is the 170 thing. <laughs> You're using Siri. Did it pick up what I just said? No, but then it makes it sound crazy to my wife. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing a bit. I'm sorry. Now what were you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Chris, we just decided uh, Chris is gonna give me the abusive hand signal when when uh, we're getting close. No, no. When we get close, you lean over and I don't know, tap me or honk the horn or something. <laughs> Hold yeah, lay horn. on the horn. As we get closer, lay on the horn. No matter what I'm doing as <laughs> okay. a driver. Okay. Well, I mean, it'll be funny if we do uh, if we do this. We go um. Yeah, I told you. Don't tell them I live in. I can't. <laughs> don't. I told you, you can't tell them I live in Whittier. <laughs> Whittier, California. That joke, that joke always works. <laughs> it does. It does. What? Uh, Why are we all depressed now? No, we're th- Andy, <laughs> two on, seconds guys. of silence doesn't mean yeah, depression. That's my problem. <laughs> you got to let a moment <laughs> That's breathe. my problem. That's the problem. You can't handle dead air. <laughs> oh, but I'd like to put a button or a pin, or stick a button or a pin in the Robin Williams thing, because okay. I think we left it. Here's the thing. Yeah. What I feel... It, about it is uh, that I think you know I was always hesitant to say someone stole unless I was there but there's so I have to say there's so much information and he did give out checks yes. and so I don't think it's really in dispute right the, then it goes on to and of course I never was a big fan of him comedically but I I did like his I thought he could act really well in certain yes. things and the garp and the other things so then you have to say the can garp. you judge someone? The garp. The garp. <laughs> can you judge someone completely based on the fact that you know they they did this? They consistently did this one bad thing. I mean, it's to me, it's two different things because he was a comedian, but he was mostly an actor. Right. Because so, when he did comedy, it was just it was basically like one man improv. Right. And so he really was doing stuff off the top of his head. I'm. I understand. I know. I've heard all the stories about Jeremy, Jeremy Kramer and big chunks of stuff he stole. Oh, I so didn't he, hear that part. Yeah, I mean, oh. he he and Kramer were very close, and so a lot of his source material became stuff he saw Kramer do. But but at the same time, that you know, to me, it makes a difference that he gave out checks because that means he was saying I'm sorry here's money right. which is really the bottom line that that's not stealing anymore that's like paying someone for their stuff although I understand that that's like it's almost like you're writing for him involuntarily it doesn't work that way but at least he was compensating people right. which a lot of people don't do they just blatantly steal and stealing happens a lot in stand up as right. we all know it definitely happens you know and the thing that you're pointing and the, and the further point I wanted to say was like I actually believe and it's hard to it's not like the hard for me says, but I actually believe that he was undeniably a sweet person. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So many people felt this way 
that, and I think it's hard because I grew up, I'm very judgmental. Yes. As everyone knows. <laughs> and I feel very guilty if I, like, say, I, well, I don't think anything about Jay Leno could do I could take positively. <laughs> but if someone I don't like does something, like, good, then I always feel like, oh, I feel bad about it. But the truth is, is life's both ways. Someone has many different facets to their personality. Right. And, yeah, people uh, are very complex. And I think we came up in a time, and you too, Chris, before the internet, comedy was very competitive and mean. It was, it, there was a lot of bullying. There was a lot of, like, telling people to their face stuff. There was a lot. Of, it was hard. It was In it Austin, was much they used harder. to turn the mic off. I, hate, I, you, I used to go. If you sucked. You no, know, yeah. I, I wow. used to, it used to disturb me what happened in the Velveeta room when I yeah. first went there. I said, this is really <laughs> cruel. They would heckle, they'd yep. heckle each other. Yep. Wow. That's where I started. I mean, and that's so... It's not that up, way anymore. Did you like it's it? Not that did way you anymore. like it at the time? I did like it at the time. I, I was angry uh, and I wanted to like... Uh, I, I, I confronted a lot of people. I, I didn't like it, I guess, but I quickly... I think you were right not to like it. Yeah, yeah. It, I was getting mad a lot, but then once they realized I would get mad, they're like, okay, let's not do it to him anymore. He might hit us. <laughs> and and, as, you and my did, stature, did you, you know, I'm very, I'm very intimidating. I, threw, I pushed a door open on Carry On once and hit him with the door, and I feel bad about that. Carry On? His name was Carry On. He did a character called Ronnie Velveeta, and that's what oh. this, the club was named after. Well, his. maybe he should. They should have pushed the door on him just for that uh, <laughs> Ronnie Velveeta. <tag. laughs> we never did that. We never did that. But I want to ask, uh, and not to uh, go off this topic, but Karen, I always felt that we were part of this, like you know, almost like. A, I mean, I hate to even say, it, but like a historical movement. You know what I mean with the Mr. Show and all these people. Yeah. I always felt that everybody else was on the inside. And I was the only one who was an outsider. But now I think everyone felt yes. like it was clickish. Exactly. No, I think that that's a very... I think that's kind of standard human experience is... Right. No matter where you are, you feel like you don't belong. And you feel like there's... The group is elsewhere and you need to get there. And then people will come and tell you like, oh, you were this or that. I mean, it's very, it surprises me to this day. I knew that I was in the midst of a lot of people, but you're constantly comparing yourself to other people. So, of course, you are never the one. Yeah, you it's do, always, you don't ever it's think. been interesting to hear your stories about those times because I would consider you to be someone that was totally in that group and your stories are, yeah, that you felt like an outsider at times. Right. I mean, every... But he does. I think that's just common. But I also think not me. I always uh, was very popular in school. Is Homecoming that true? prince. Sure, you were uh, a prince. Yeah, athletic. Um, never, you were just had tough. much problem with girls. Yeah, no, I mean you just didn't stay, <laughs> stay away the, from them. <laughs> it's weird because I'm doing a combination of sarcasm. People did like me, but I wasn't athletic. So it was oh, like a 50 I, oh, I saw you in like an old timey uh, bathing suit. I used to be, uh, <laughs> do py pyramids with people. Or me I medicine, medicine ball. <laughs> and then boxing with my fingers towards my face. <laughs> and uh, a lot of. I was like a, a young George Atlas without the muscles. Wow. Yeah, well. You're you a know. very lucky man. Thank you. But well, also the thing, I never knew that about you, and I didn't know about you kicking sand in everyone's face, <laughs> even when you weren't at the beach. Here's the thing, it was never on purpose. You carried sand around. It was never on purpose. I was just, I did a lot of jogging on the beach, and I didn't see there was people laying there. It was more of an awareness thing yes. with you. Yes, I should have been more conscious of the fact that my, my feet were covered with sand. And I was wildly kicking them towards people's faces. Now, I, I don't want to say anything. I think you don't say any names, but you, I don't know if you went too far. No, no, no. no not didn't. Too, <laughs> but here's the other thing it's I wanted this, to say. I wanted this to say is the that. exit we're going to take. Yeah, yeah. Now, here. Can you see that? It's, it's, the, next, very it's difficult the next thing. As you want to get off of the next thing. Here. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, I'll get off of the next thing. But don't yes, kill sir. anybody. If we have to go too far, I definitely and come need back because we're directly into the sun. I definitely need to. It is Let's the, just get off. The most direct. We are driving into the sun. We are definitely not going south. <laughs> is there? We is, are going west. Is something going on with the Earth? Is this yeah. connected with the but water line? May, and I'm saying you may go too far, but if you do, careful, you can get careful. off. You actually Sorry. could get off to the next one. I want to. Yeah, do it. No, but I mean, you can get off the next one after if you miss it. Okay. And because we're having such a great conversation. <laughs> now, here's the thing I want to say about Karen. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, here's the thing. No, and I really mean this honestly. But I would say I would say it about you like I would say it about a lot of people. I mean, not like... Okay, there were people like David Cross awesome. who you really thought would punch you in the face the next second. You know what right. I mean? Because he's he could be moody and stuff like that. Or he could be the sweetest guy in the world. 
I right? Never, I never saw that version, but carry on. Oh, you only saw the mean guy. Yeah. All right, now stay here. No, he could Don't worry about it. You missed the thing. Okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. Go to the next thing. Okay. Sorry, I and, really And then can't. make a left, I think. Because that, that's it's, just a line with no words. It's every time Unless, I try to do it, it flips around. Just take a oh, okay, second. Okay, okay. So it's <laughs> so irritating. And I, I thought I was the only one with the sun directly in my eyes. And then that's why I just freaked out. Because all the lights went red on the back of these cars. And I was like, he's as blind as I am. <laughs> I wanted this is to, a but, dangerous situation. I've gotten better as I've gotten older. Of not panicking. Because what's... And I'm not saying I'm perfect at it. But why would you want to panic... When you're, all that's happening is you're going one more exit. I'm just saying to the kids today, yes. don't get an offender better. But here's what I want to say about Karen. Karen <laughs> is, you are, and this is what makes you hilarious and what makes people love you, is you have a tremendous amount of charisma oh, in the you. right sense of the word. I'm not saying you don't, Chris. I'm just saying <laughs> I came up with, I mean, I'm even the fact I say, I'm, I'm not saying you don't, <laughs> is negative towards you. Why would I bring it up? <laughs> Look, Chris, what you do is you're not as sexy as a Karen to me at least it's just right now I'm just involved with the driving thing otherwise right. I'd be showing I'd be puffing up I'd be turning You'd everyone really be on proving it yeah I'd really <laughs> you could be. turn the world on but I'm, smile. I'm having an anxiety about this uh, driving thing so I would be overly concerned with <clears throat> what Karen thought about me but I'm just bringing you up as a, 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 <laughs> of one of eight or nine or ten people I'm the only or one or twenty to... people in that group I'm the only one in the group oh good whoa Lord did you feel the same way though Karen about those other people or is my uh, my well, uh, inse- insecurity is different no 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 I was very very insecure my main uh, I was drunk all the time as I will say a thousand times until 1997 I was just always drunk and my thing was I loved I I uh, I think the only people I worried about, and I didn't understand that that's what was happening, was I worried about David Cross and I worried about Doug Benson. Those were the two people that always seemed to not like me. And so they were the people when I was writing, wow. I would think, will this make them laugh? Which I actually think at the end of the day made me write funnier stuff because uh, I was trying to hold myself to a standard that was... I mean, David, you know... David is a tough customer, but right. I did have great times with him and we were yes. good friends. Yes. And he could actually be really fun when he was kind of like relaxed and in a good mood. And very sweet. He and could very, be very sweet. sweet. But then he also could be super bitchy and he, mean and he scary. He made a girlfriend of mine cry once. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he, yeah. he, you know, he was, he was that way. But this was like in the 90s, that was kind of how it got done sometimes. I didn't feel like I ever overtly was. I mean, I think I offended people or whatever, but I wasn't like, I'm going to be mean. No, no, way. you were sweet. I had other problems. But here's the other thing. <laughs> I'll give you an example of David Cross. A perfect example of David Cross. Once I went, and this is perfect, I think, shows who, uh, uh, how we're all weird, but he was weird this way. <laughs> he was wearing shorts, right? Yeah. So I go and I go, hey, what are you, the shorts guy? <laughs> and he says, no, no. I happen to wear shorts. <laughs> all right? And now... He, he could say have heard that and just took it as a bit <laughs> but occasionally he didn't take it as a bit no he was actually and this is true you can make you could make a left here if you want to <laughs> don't say the street uh, it's <laughs> don't say the street um, he was very very sensitive and and I find as I get old as I become more decrepit that's <laughs> that's a truth if you find people that seem really harsh or judgmental or mean or that intimidate you those are actually the people that are the softest on the inside they're they're putting on a so, show wow, and I right. was exactly the same way I was a bully and I loved to be a bully that was like that made me feel so much better because I was so insanely insecure and really filled with self-loathing so anytime I could turn it on somebody else I would do it in a heartbeat I, I was a gossip and a bully because because huh. it made me feel better well it's interesting you or said at least it I, th- I thought it did I never knew any about this stuff until I heard you talk on on Mark Marin's show which I had had her all for the first First time I heard all this stuff, but the interesting thing I think about it is, like, I think that I put too much, like, in my, I think I'm better at it, way better at it now. You just keep going straight. Okay. Uh, but you're way, way better. But I, I was unfair to people because I wanted you. I'm gonna say you as an example. I wanted you to to like me so much. Right. So let's say you did get this way. That didn't make you a bad person. That was just things that you were going through. Yeah. And so. It is really my insecurity to have to have everybody around me 
be perfect towards me all the time. Exactly. You know? Exactly. And that's <clears throat> that kind of... Uh, that kind of need of other people's approval, like when I first got into therapy and, and my therapist kind of explained, like, that's the thing that we're going to try to work on. I was like, I'm sorry, what are the options? Exactly. Like it was like, <laughs> tr how do you not need everybody's approval? And how do you not like, because I kind of, in my mind, put it as like, I was striving towards something. I yes. was using their disapproval as a way to get better instead of seeing how the damage it did. And also because I was projecting their disapproval. Doug Benson doesn't give two shits about me. I know that for a fact. <laughs> right. I mean, I'm sure, I don't think he's a fan of mine, but I <laughs> I also know that he never spent a lot of time thinking about me. Right. We were friends for a while, but it wasn't, you know what I mean? Yeah. Was, I was projecting so much stuff onto him because I needed to. Well, I also had many times, and uh, I don't really care, I've had many uh, things over the years, disappointing confrontations with him. So I, I Yeah. Oh. I have, but it's, it's that part doesn't have to be said. I mean, I'll, although I'm perfectly happy to bring it up. Uh, <laughs> but the point is, is, like, I felt like... Oh. I mean, and in a way, but, we, but the... Those two were fighting <laughs> about which Twilight movie was better. <laughs> there was two goths fighting in the street. <laughs> what a perfect symbol of what we're talking about right now. But, you know, the thing is, but that, again, it's the uh, thing about... Uh, now, I don't know, you guys can do whatever you want. I'm up here in the right. You can go around the corner. Do you feel like you've got what you need? No, let's keep driving. All right, so let's we, drive we, like around the corner. We have reached the, the uh, time. The, uh, but now I sound like a party. I'll player. show yeah. you where it is for when you want to. It's not this one, this mansion, it's not oh. this mansion, it's the one with the lawn jockeys, it's this one. <laughs> Here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay so we can go around uh, the block. Okay. You want to go around the block? Or just, oh, like, oh, we can just stay, yeah. stop, oh, or whatever you want to do. Oh, okay. Um, the truth is, is that, again, even that's like, I've also had great times with Dunk Bed Center, I've hung around, so that's also another thing that's my, could be my problem too, but the other thing I've learned about, that I feel like I'm better as a person but I notice the only the, the healthier thing now is I notice like about a week into where I'm into a thing where I'm making sure I'm okay with everybody yeah I'm at, and just being aware of it makes me stop doing it yes right that's all you can do really but I mean in comedy it's hard because who who do you want to love you and respect you more than fellow comedians? Yeah, right. I've that's always been my goal is to make comics laugh too. It turns out it doesn't pay the bills. No. Are you sure you don't live there? Look what at a that beautiful. Place. It was peach <laughs> color. Peach. Uh, I, uh, oh, I do. No, I own that place. I rent that out. Oh, I see. Oh, but right. Here's the thing too, and I hate to get serious, <laughs> which a lot of people feel like I am during my act. But uh, pause. You'll put the laughter in there. <laughs> Here's the problem with comedy. You, like, to me, comics who, do, who I always couldn't stand when comics would not acknowledge when they weren't doing well or if a joke didn't get a reaction. And I think I go too far. Like, I think if the crowd isn't, like, spitting up blood <laughs> right. you know, or, or doubled I, over, then that I'm not I doing well. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But the truth is you don't do comedy in a vacuum. You want the – you're doing it for other people. Yeah. So it's natural – to want to get the, you know, it's great to get the left, but it's, but it really is, it's like your Achilles heel. Like, I think my strengths are my Achilles heel. Like, I comment on everything. And yes. I notice that when, like, it's an Achilles heel, if I can't stop commenting on it, you know? <laughs> and it's the same thing with wanting people to like you or wanting to entertain people. Yes, that's part of the gig, but when you do it in life all the time, it's just exhausting. And that, it comes from my family upbringing. You know, it's like, I have to make sure I'm okay with everybody. Yeah, right. it's impossible. Yes. To please everybody. and I, But I also think it isn't that kind of a comedian's personality. Yes. Really. But some people more than others, you think? Probably, yes. Because there's some, some people who clearly don't have any attachment to other people's opinions. Or if they do, they're very good at hiding it. Yeah, you can stay here. Anyway. That's my couch, by the way. Right oh, here. it's yeah, beautiful. It's not, uh, it I just can... needs to be reupholstered, but I think <laughs> yeah. you'll be off to the first yeah. race. It's, <laughs> it's just a nice shade. I yeah. just wish that I could put the enjoyment of the audience before the other comics. That's what I always... No, that's interesting you said, because yeah. it is really true that that is, again, the greatest thing when you get it, but that's the one that will get you. If, especially if I become fan, like friends with someone who's like I have always loved and I meet them I just, then it's like I up the ante I think about them responding to my tweets mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah yeah oh yeah funny. 
Isn't and then that, you're, you're writing to people? I obsess about, yeah, Twitter response things. So it is individual for me. And that's the problem. I, I should be thinking about how do you make a thousand people happy? I think you should take the, the clicker off. Because even if we're going to do another, <laughs> even if we're gonna do one more minute of this, why should it end with clicker sound? It helps with the timing. When I do editing, I, I time it with the click. It's Are like a metronome? This? Yeah, yeah. Editing like, this down? Oh, we edit, we remix it, and it becomes a dance song <laughs> for <Yeah>. Belgium. <laughs> oh, I like the way... For Belgium <laughs> at night. And you just keep going, tagging On it. acid. You taught with me that a, one. With an attitude. Yes. Like Elvis from, from hell. hell. <laughs> I really was trained by Oh, Andy that Kimmel. woman thinks that dog is a human. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing, you guys. If you could only see uh, this dog in a uh, baby stroller. That was so upsetting. I thought it was a child with a little white wig on. It was, it was so disgusting. That was a little woman, person in that uh, crib. <laughs> and you guys hate people who look like dogs. She and has she a, Her herself. baby is Jojo the dog face boy. <laughs> is that a real I thing? I read about him in the National <laughs> Enquirer. It's, it's real. <laughs> That's one of the best references of all time. Jojo, Jojo I, the dog face boy. Can I, well, I'm not going to use it, but it would be good. What's, what's this guy's problem? What are you, Jojo the dog face boy? You can use it. <laughs> is it a real Just person? Just write me a check. It's like an elephant man? It was a guy from... Uh, it was a... A boy from like the 1800s that hair grew all over his face. Oh, I remember. So he had per a person underneath, but then like long dog hair. He looked like a little dog. Oh. And yeah. it it's a disease that happens sometimes where people their full face gets like long hair on it. But yeah. then they make lots of money in the circus. <laughs> so let's be positive. Do you, remember, do you remember Bob Worley? He had a great Joanne's joke. Joanne's brother? <laughs> no. He had a great joke. I think it was his joke. He goes, whatever happened to the elephant man? He made that one movie and then... He <laughs> <laughs> I love jokes like that. He also had a joke that I never realized till he said it about toys when you were a kid. He'd go, it's Slinky, it's Slinky. Uh. In other words, like, that's how I felt about Slinky. It was a terrible toy. It's fun for the first time. Oh, it's Slinky, time. it's Slinky. Uh. It <laughs> that's it. Well, kids, um, how do you wrap up these things? Now, first of all, how long have we done? Oh, we, we have a little... Uh, we've, it's, we're perfect. We're on time. We do about an hour. We've done an hour and nine minutes. It's a, it's a decent... Uh, did you do all your segments, though? Don't you have segments during we, it? Like, we uh, we like, did uh, Morning Zoo. We did Morning Zoo. That's something we always did. You took the lead on that, which was amazing, because you didn't even know that we did that. We didn't no, do you the don't traffic do report. Oh, you, he then we do, a, we do an improvised... Uh, I'm very good with no, sarcasm. No, but I mean, callers call in and they guess how many lanes you're on. You know, something traffic-oriented. <laughs> Where is my car phone? Oh, if we can, oh, if we can only do call-ins. Look at this old amazing. swatch. Oh, I love pulling out visual gags for the podcast. <laughs> podcast. Well, that's why Carrot Top never did well on the radio. <laughs> no, no. I'm holding a tennis racket <laughs> with a toaster. You now. should see how big this hammer is. <laughs> hey, what is this? Michael Jackson's bicycle. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> two, three, four. You uh, were the first person to go two, three, four. <laughs> and I was the first person, if I stumbled uh, vocally, I would uh, hold my upper teeth and go, never order them through the mail. <laughs> that was an actual comedian's joke in the 50s. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, why do I like that a lot? Oh. <laughs> never order them through the mail. I do want to th I want to thank the people over at uh, Phil in the name of the sponsor. Okay. But I also want to say, Talk I want to thank you guys you because hope. you were so nice to me. What? With my busy, I can't, again, can't say what I did, but no, it was big right. time. It was that's big pretty, time. I'm, we're very excited about what you may or may not have in development. Yeah. <laughs> and we hope you're the, we're the first podcast that you'd come on in, on your uh, PR tour. Sabbatical. What? <laughs> what <are you> saying? <laughs> <laughs> I just lost that, I just lost all my gas. That's all so, at one time. That's so great that, that all that look, face that you gave could never be done in a club where you gave a face like, you knew people could see you, but you're like, oh, Ooh, sorry. <laughs> oh. I'm losing it. I'm uh, losing it. <laughs> I love it. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna be the one to wrap this up. Do it. Uh, be funny, right? Then I put on a condom. <laughs> oh, no. oh, I don't know about that. That's I'm a, sorry. That's not. Uh, you know what? You know some things aren't appropriate, and that's you went I too far. I think the uh, let's wrap it up only deserves. Okay, but uh, it's been a good. Thank you for having. Oh, why don't you take me? This is depressing. It's like every other time in my life. Oh, why don't you get out of the car now? Do you need to plug anything? Are you gonna yeah, be yeah. anywhere oh, this yes, week? Yes, I do. Dates. When does this it come out? Monday. Dates. This Monday. Drops. This, yeah. it, it is Monday you like today. like you break it or something? I'm yeah. the guy that doesn't get what you're saying. <laughs> well, I'm going to be at TJ Cranberries. I'm going to be at Mc, uh, McFunny, McHerb, Mc, uh, Bell, uh, Gut Busters. I'm going to be at Tickle Me Rib, Tickle Me Ribs. <laughs> Tickle Me Ribs. Tickle Me Ribs. Um, why can't I think of anything? that I'm doing. I was on Garfunkel. I was? That's not a good plug. No. <laughs> it uh, aired. It's a remember plug. If you have a DVR, <laughs> it might still be sitting there. 
Oh, you get my new album. I got nothing. <laughs> Is That's that not real. No, I do have an album coming out, but it's so depressing because I should have had it out by now. What are you calling it? It's called. It is going to be called. Hence the humor. Oh, that's good. Great. And it that's should a great be in Jan. It should have been December. It's probably January, February. And the, my joke about it is, it's available on vinyl for those people who don't want to listen to it. <laughs> well, do you get it? Well, I because do. Karen, Karen, I don't have a record. My player. album's on vinyl. I get it. Get oh, out oh, of that's the car. Right. <laughs> that's what it was. I'm with you. I'm with you there. You have an appointment. I, don't I can have tell you have an appointment or a set at. Uh, <laughs> you have a set at uh, the lab factory. An, uh, it's an appointment. It's a very serious dental appointment. <laughs> All right, I'm leaving the car. At now, how do you? At night. How do you leave the car? I know, right? That's so true. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't send that tweet. Uh, not tweet the text out. Andy, I don't. I barely read it when you said it the first time. I don't give a that, shit. If my not, name's not in it, I don't care. That's the funniest thing is the the <laughs> idea that I'm obsessed. Like all this times, like oh she's. You could, couldn't care I less. I skimmed it the first time. I most of the time when you talk about it, I don't really know what you're talking. Well, about. Well, I said. I called my wife my little pokey schmokey poop. I know, that's not my business. And I said, Are you my muffin head? Are no, you my you muffin didn't. head? <laughs> I'm gonna gag. Yes, you are my muffin head. Wait, you have to stay here for the sign off. Okay. You've been listening to DYN AR. AR. <laughs> that was it. It's the greatest. Are you leaving or are you on your way back home? Either way, we wanna be there. Doesn't matter how much baggage you claim. Give us a time and date, terminal and gate. We wanna send you off in style. We wanna welcome you back home. Tell us all about it. Were you scared or was it fine? Mouth horn. <laughs> Uh, with Karen and Chris.